Hello, welcome. Pause the video, read the problem, try it out, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, so we're told here to find how many different outcomes we can have with a race of 11 runners, assuming there's no tie. So that means it's going to be first place is our first runner. Then we have second place. See, I'm going with this, right? Third place. They're all different places. All the way up to 11th place. The, fir the, the first place winner will choose first. How many ways can we choose the first place winner? Well, there are 11 to begin with. Then how many ways can we choose the second place winner? There are 10 left. And then how many for the third? Nine. All the way down to the one runner that gets in 11th place. And now, how many in total ways are there? Well, for each of the 11 that we chose for first place, there are 10 in the second. And for each of those 10, there are 9 all the way down to 1. So you can kind of imagine that some kind of tree. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There are 11 runners that we could have chosen first. For each of them, there are 10 runners. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3. I'm going to stop here. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 runners for second place, and so on and so forth. So we can multiply 11 by 10 by 9 by 8 by 7 by 6, so on and so forth, to get our answer. Or we can just say it's 11 factorial, which is the same exact idea. It's going to be a big number. So 11 factorial... So 11 times 10 all the way down to 1. We get our answer. 3, 9, 9, 1, 6, 8, 0, 0 is 39,916,800 ways to do this. It's amazing. All right.